Hey guys, Bubernets here. Uh, we just finished a nice morning bro and we're jumping into the next project. Yes, so we're about to um, turn this Yeti cooler into a jockey box because we always struggle with bringing a keg places and trying to keep it cold and dealing with that whole scenario. So we think this will fix that as long as we don't massacre this beautiful Yeti cooler. It's, wor it's worth the sacrifice we think because yeah. we know it's going to keep our beer ice cold. Uh, we have a line that we're going to run through inside and we're just going to fill it with ice yep. and that ice should last us the entire day or days or however with long the beer lasts we know that yeah. we'll be serving ice cold beer all day. Yeah and we have we we bought lots of products for this um, we kind of saved our money and went a little bit upscale we got a nuke tap which should be really cool and um, lots of other little odds and ends to make this work so um we'll put it in the description so you guys have it in case you wanted to know exactly what we got any questions you have just put them in the comments but right now we're going to go outside and try our luck at reaming this hole that we already marked for the tap in the front. Wish us luck! luck. Okay, so we're back here. Safety first. Um, we have safety glasses and Rochelle's gonna be the one reaming the hole so she's got um, her hair tied up. So we're just gonna, we already pre-marked where we're gonna drill in. We're gonna drill a pilot hole first and just loosen it up a bit and then we'll ream through it so i guess we'll fast forward through that okay, part let's but hope this works. fingers crossed I think okay good. i'm gonna flip the box so rochelle has good stability and we're just left all right so shell just drilled the other hole so the keg can connect in to the cooling coil and any advice once again just pre-drill that first hole yep and you took you stopped and took insulation out of the bit at multiple times just to make yeah, the drill i had to actually i had to, i had to do that in yeah. order to keep going so have a clean cut so yep. um we'll take this inside the beer barn now and we will assemble and be right back with you Okay, the girls are done. So we have it assembled. Um, do you want to flip it and we'll show them the inside? Yep. Not there too shabby. Looks no, pretty clean looking. Looks pretty good. We'll Couple give it a rinse out. Get some ice in there. Mm -hmm. um, what do we want to say? Uh, I guess something cool. The Nuke Tap has, uh, if you guys don't know about the Nuke Tap, we didn't try it. We just bought it. So we'll see if, it, if it's all the rage. Um, but there's supposed to be a valve in there that's like anti-agitation. So your beer won't be foamy. Less foamy and... We have the spring. Spring loaded. It's spring loaded. So like you know how you get your keg out somewhere to a beach or whatever or to a party and you always have that like Joe Blow who free leave, beer leaves the tap open, free beer, and he just forgets to close it. Well anyway, this is Joe Blow proof. Waste no more. Go right back. So that's cool. Uh, um, the and then, fittings. Yeah. So we were shanks. we were we bought some stainless steel shanks um, and they came with the fittings as well, but. Some of the fittings weren't stainless, so just something we wanted to tell you guys because we're going to link the products because we're kind of like, we wonder how that's going to mm -hmm. hold up, especially because it's going to be wet in here all the time. So we're, we're going to ride it out though. Yeah, and we, we just know we might have to replace the fittings, but mm -hmm. otherwise they look really great. Um, so we have a hose here. We'll connect. Um, keg. We'll connect and then we'll get a keg going and I guess should we try it out today? Yeah, we'll try it out. We'll yeah. post that. But as you can see, the beer is going to be icy cold Yee! for a super long time. It looks really nice and yeah. we did the holes. Good job. We did them so, like, well, you did it. You did it. But you did it really well. That was all right. Yeah. We're, we're excited. Anyway. <laughs> um, so we didn't wreck this Yeti cooler. No, we didn't. It's it going to be awesome. Yeah. So we sacrificed it, but mm -hmm. for a good cause. Yep. So anyway, we'll hook up a keg a bit later. I'm going to Shell's for dinner. So we'll hook up a keg in the backyard and we'll see if it works. Mm -hmm. It should work. It's, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. How could it not work? Yeah. So any questions or comments you guys have, just let us know and we'll get back to you. I think we explained it pretty well what we did, but if you have pretty any questions basic, or we yeah. missed anything, just let us know and we'll tell you what we did mm -hmm. and we'll be really transparent if anything didn't work out the way we hoped it would. Um, so yeah, that's Overall, basically it. it was easy. It was very easy. Yeah. Yeah. So any cooler, doesn't have to be a Yeti, but we're hoping it keeps pretty cool. So yeah, it will. It'll last the keg yep. for sure. All right. Well, thanks for checking out guys and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Ready for pour? Yeah, we'll see if it works. <laughs> oh, that's a nice pour. Is it cold? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's looking cold. It's insanely cold, actually. Is it? Yep. It's pouring really well. It's 
smells good. Oh yeah. That is good. Perfect. Look at that. Right. It's really cold. Sweet. Awesome. Home brew. <laughs> Home brew on the go. All right, so this is a 32 liter Yeti. And with the supplies and everything in it, it was like four bags of ice. So, nothing. and it's cold. It's, it's really cold. We just put the ice in too, so that's surprising. Mm -hmm. Maybe put the ice in half an hour ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, well, um, yeah, we'll put everything in the description. Any questions, let us know. Cheers. Cheers.